Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Another edition here of the Brilliantly Dumb Show. You got Mikey V. And let's let's give a warm round of applause for Joey D. Look at the D-man coming in here today, Michael. Joseph, how are you today, pal? Doing pretty good, Bob. Doing yeah. good. <laughs> what's what, what something funny, Michael? No, no, no. <laughs> He's sponsored by Panera. That's well documented. Oh, He's yeah. Sponsored by yeah. yeah. The That's way right. that this guy is pushing. He's got the Panera around. bag. Got the yeah. Panera bag. I wish. I really do. My stock secured. Well, I, I mean, listen, they should be taking notice already. I mean, you give the you give these guys insane amount of free pub, and you you're growing the Sip Club army. It's obvious. They I mean, sent me a, uh, an automated message and then never followed up on. It. That's so. tough. That's yeah, tough. They need to got guy of your caliber. Some might say that I'm ready to take Panera back to where they used to be. I, I I'm I'm ready to take the bull by the horns and. Steer them in the right direction, kind of like you were with KFC. You, you know? actually, yeah. you were speaking of grabbing the bull by the horn. You do remind me a lot of White Goodman from from Dodgeball, like That's in cool. that way, like just uh, an entrepreneurial, uh, an entrepreneurial, <laughs> no, no, an entrepreneurial guy who you know just early just, shot you know, out of the gates from Mike grabbing uh, by the I'll horn. Tell you what. Lennon. White Goodman, White Goodman was in he was in great shape. He was he was an entrepreneur. Oh, he was oh. stuffing pizza down his shorts. <laughs> that was at the end. That was at the end of the movie. Still <laughs> happened. Well, I mean, and he was an obnoxious psychopath. Well, well, well I, I mean, listen, I, you know, I, I'm not saying you are not saying. Some people are saying. I'm not saying. Who's saying? I'm you not just saying. Said. I'm you not just said. Saying. You literally just said it. All right, let's get back to the pod now. Let's get, get back, back to the, the pod. Let's get back okay. By the way. By now, the way, box is gone. Looks like the box is gone. Box is not gone. Box, box is not gone. gone. Oh, box is not gone. gone. Yeah, box, box is, that box will be there until the end of time. No, pod room's be coming out. You'll just take the box with them and go to the new spot. Sure. <laughs> pod, pod room's coming. Pod room's coming. By the way, it should be done. Look good. The should video you showed me, it looked, it looked pretty good. That was the same room or that was a different room? No, different room. Okay. No. This guy had to pay a, a king's ransom, Mikey. He had these guys there from dusk till dawn. It's not true. Task, task rabbit. A couple of rabbits. Couple no, of rabbits. they're not rabbits. Those no, are full not. blown <laughs> technicians. Wow. They, they had the trucks outside <laughs> the whole night. He had, he had NASA. He fed them he had NASA at the house. Yeah. He, uh, oh, he wow. That. He was giving That's them Grimaldi's because nice. they were there. Let me tell you something. I, I'm, I'm really good. If somebody comes to the house, like any workers or something, I'm very, very good to them. I really I mean, am. They were I mean, there you should be. Day. You should always. You should always have like. If ever I got like guys working on the house or something, especially usually it's when the weather's nicer that they're able to do stuff. You always got to have the cold water. Always got to have the cold water on deck. Yeah. Couple cold beers for when they're done. Like at the end of the day, they want a couple beers. Give them a couple cold oh, beers. Yeah. yeah at the end of the day. Sure. That's really. Yeah. I mean, that's really nice. I, I haven't gone the beer yeah. route. Yeah. Like um, if they're working, like when they were doing my yard, these guys were out there. Seven o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning until four or five in the afternoon in the middle of the summer. Like it, they were dying by the end of the day. Give them a couple of cervezas. That goes a long, Yo, long by way. The way, out of how many, Michael, out of how many people that say they they like a beer, like they enjoy a cold beer, want a beer. How many of them do you think actually like beer? Because I think it's a little bit of a placebo effect. Like I don't I don't like look forward to a beer. I just want to get drunk. Yeah, so, no, I mean, I, look at the Shawshank Redemption, Bob. Sometimes a nice cold beer goes a long way. Well, but that wasn't that guy in jail for a, a decade, you know? So then a beer with anything would taste nice. <laughs> no, I, 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 I am one of those who say, like, in in the summer, in certain situations, mowing the lawn. I mean, I think we've done top five beers. I don't know. Maybe we haven't, but, like, the lawnmower beer, the airport Barbecue beer, the, sure. air, the airport beer. Sure. Yeah. The bar, be yeah, a barbecue grilling. vacation first first vacation beer grilling is a must like you no know, absolutely I think that it's it's something you look forward to that ice cold Modelo coming out of the fridge is that was a great beer man it's different it just it, it's different man <laughs> what do you think though what what do you think when like, I, I was know... younger when I was younger never would I ever say like oh I can't wait to like oh I just I would kill for a cold beer never I didn't like the taste of beer when I was first like in high school I don't know if anyone really liked the taste you know. When you first have your first beer, I don't know if anyone truly enjoys it. I didn't. See, but is it the is it the buzz that you're looking forward to? No, or is it the no, actual taste. The taste, yeah. The right. taste. Really? I, think, I think an ice cold beer is delicious. Cold really? beer on the golf course or after the round goes a long way too. 
19. It goes a long way. Yeah, see, I, I cocktails. I, I look forward to cocktails. I feel like cocktail is a bigger commitment to getting after it, though. Like, if you have a cocktail, like, you can't just have one cocktail. Yeah, yeah, that is. You I could mean, have one beer can, and then but... just call it. But you if could. you're if you're committing to cocktails, you're committing to getting a little sauce. Dude, my my favorite thing in the world. I I start to get sad as the dinner goes on. Like when we were talking about this, Mikey. Like when the when the cocktail comes out, when you're at the dinner, I enjoy being at dinner so much that when the cocktails hit, I'm in like really like some of my best form. Well, you're, the talking about, <laughs> you're talking about the cocktail before any food arrives. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Correct. The peak. That, in my opinion, that may be the peak moment of the dinner. I agree. No. Either that yeah. or the appetizers. Yeah. The, appetizers. the appetizers, appetizers, yeah. With the and then I start to get sadder and sadder because I know it's coming to an end. Like <laughs> right when the appetizer hits, um, um, peak high. And then once I start eating the appetizer, I'm midway through. Then we start to go down because then I know the dinner's starting to end. Sure. Like seafood towers, down. peak, Mikey. It's seafood towers. Yeah. Boy, did he. <laughs> Who was the jerk off? Was it you or you? Because it certainly wasn't me that took all of the the king crab at, at Ruth Chris. Was that Mikey? I thought that was Mikey. No, I, I, I no, was, I, was on, I was on the the crab cocktail, the lump crab cocktail I took because no one was eating it. The king crab legs, I didn't really mess you with. Both, you both were stuffing your faces with crab. Oh, I mean, this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mikey yeah. looked like half the ocean had been dumped it on was, his head. It was, Mikey. It was. It was. I know. I you know you everyone, kept putting, everyone kept putting the lobster shells on my plate, so it made me look like a fucking asshole. But that wasn't really the case, though. I, I was think. swindled. I was bamboozled. I was hoodwinked. I, 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 I wasn't doing a bunch of balls. I honestly thought it was either one one of the two or you who just had an obscene amount and we were busting, you know, that you person. Now we, we are, we are going to be, we're going to Talladega next weekend. Wow. Are you, there's rumors of you switching out of Ruth's Chris. So we oh, are so we, we no. are we are pivoting Mikey. from Ruth, Ruth Chris. I just don't right. understand yeah, that. Such a good I know. Show. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you why. It's bad. I hope it's a good Bro, reason. It's like a pitcher Let me ask a you great guys, game, and then and you, you go, go to the bullpen. To and you go to the pen. bullpen. We're going yeah, to the pen, but you know what? We pen. might we could have Mariano in the pen. You don't know. You don't know. That's such a rare. Let me say this. Let me say this. You want to stick with your starter over the bullpen? I don't. I don't want. I'll ride with you, Mikey, but I don't like this. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you trust? Do you trust? The faithful. Do you trust our listeners and our watchers? I do. Trust I don't. Do you trust? I don't, I don't know if Joey D does. Joey do D you, had a rough week, man. Do you Joey trust? D, Joey D had a really rough week. But do you trust? Him? But do you trust? Do you trust? Okay, let me rephrase the question, Joe. Do you trust that our Fuck following? You, do you trust? Oh, no, Mikey, Joe, Joey D had a I really, really my rough ass week. Roasted, hold on, man. hold on, hold on. Do you trust and believe, Joe, that our following, our loyal following that has been supporting this show for some odd years, taking the show to the levels that it belongs to go to, do you trust that these men and women would want to steer us in the correct direction? Yeah, for sure. I okay, trust stop, them, stop, same. stop, stop. I have been told by several people that are Birmingham, Alabama natives. A lot of comments, that's a the, lot of sources. That the Ruth Chris Steakhouse is in is in an area number one. It's in like an older hotel. They said the vibe is very off. It's not as good as these two other steakhouses, both of whom recommended the same place, which just so happens to be the backup reservation Flemings? that I made. Fleming's? Per Perry's. Perry's Steakhouse. I thought you said Fit Fleming's was the backup. Perry's. Perry's is the backup. We're I'm going to the third string this. here now, Let me say this. Let me say this. You're starting to panic. I always trust you with this stuff. You're starting me? to panic. Yeah, you're I started with panic. between no, 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 no. Ruth, Chris, or Fleming. Yeah, now all of a sudden, uh, so did I. No, it was it's Perry. Perry's. Little... Come on. It was, it was Perry's. It was never I thought Fleming's. It was, I never I thought said it was, Fleming's. I thought you said Fleming's. So listen, yeah. here's what I could say about Perry's. I've eaten at a Perry's in Austin, Texas. For my bachelor party, which was in Austin, Texas, I ate at Perry's, and it was it was magnificent. It was very good. So I'll vouch for Perry's. The All fact right. that they both had something to say negative about Ruth, nobody came out and said, oh, Ruth Chris, it's amazing, amazing, amazing. They both came out and said the same thing and they recommended the same place otherwise, which they didn't know that we we were talking about. So Perry's it is. Perry's gets the nod. They're getting the ball. We got to yeah. take them out. You know what? It's like, it's a, it's a, you know, we're, we're up one run. Guy was okay. pitching a hell of a game, but now the bases are loaded. He's walked two guys in a row. You're going to keep the ball with him? No, you got to. He's got to go. But he he's didn't. Get he didn't calls. walk anybody. We had a tremendous he did. dinner. He, did. We, we're, he we're, walked. The comments made him walk. He, we're he going walked. to Perry's um, for the one, the only. I think it's a perfect time to let you know Talladega 
Super right. Speedway, April 21st, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Fox. NASCAR is heading to its biggest track on the circuit. The 2024 season is starting to heat up, and drivers are leaving it all. What the fuck is funny, Joe? <laughs> Mikey, you see what he's doing? I'm just, this, no, is, a I'm, compliment. I'm, this I'm, is a compliment to the ad read. Anyone can win the Geico 500, so tune into the race on Sunday, April 21st, 3 p.m. Eastern on Fox. And, of course, Joseph, make sure to watch the new docuseries, NASCAR, full speed on Netflix, to get an in-depth look at some of your favorite drivers. Now, Joe, when you think about your favorite drivers, let's hear some of your favorite drivers. Lugano, yeah. Burton. <laughs> yeah. um, 22 oh, car, baby. All, all our guys. All, all, our, guys. all, our, guys. That's all right. our guys, for sure. <laughs> That's right. For sure, all our guys. Give me one more, Joey D. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Austin. D uh, D uh, Dylan, Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon, yeah. dear friend of the program, by the way. He was yeah. actually in attendance when Mikey's Peloton race and saw the massacre that took place on the oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing. I kept thinking Mikey was going to have a little something in the tank that he was holding it for the second round. But it just Oh, no. <laughs> What's it was like a that? juice that you just crushed. There was no, there's nothing left. There's no juice left. It was just, it was just pulp, just pulp at that point. <laughs> and boy, did he get pulp. He that doesn't even, move. what are you laughing at? That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Just Mikey, just I, 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 I will say man. this. I think that most, a lot of the things you do, you do very well. So when mm. you get absolutely destroyed in something, it's it's kind of funny to watch. I, I mean, you could compare the ride metrics of me and Swan that ride. I wouldn't call it absolutely destroyed, especially not by somebody who's like a professional, a borderline professional athlete. So who also has probably, I probably have a hundred pounds on Paul Swan. By the way, what what's what's going on with the Peloton? You haven't been, have you not been doing the Peloton? So ever since the gyms opened back up, you know, Peloton was my COVID jam, but ever since the gyms opened back up, you know, I like to, I like to not just do one form of something. I just like to do stairs, treadmill, bike, you know, try and mix it up as much as I can, but Fair. yeah, Fair. gyms opening back up. I think, I think that's why Peloton's hurt. Peloton's hurt. They've been hurting for quite some time. Seems that way. You know, you know who really put a beating on Peloton was Dana Rogan. White. Rogan. No, Dana Rogan White. too, right? Was it Dana White? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I, if you don't think that that had an effect on Peloton, because oh, that went definitely. all over. He Is the Peloton out. stock down? It's been, it, it was, yeah. they reported losses for like the last uh, two years of financial quarters, I think. They've, they've been going down, down, down for a while. Then they had the issue with the bike. The pedals were fucking breaking off the bikes. You know what? People I have not taking care of their bikes, though. You're supposed to change the pedals out every year. You got to pay attention. Oh, to my. You're God. supposed to. You're supposed to. Not. Um, by the way, uh, we're recording this on Saturday morning. The reason being is Joey D is taking his talents to Augusta, Georgia, um, which should be an interesting ride. Um, I, I, by the way, and again, I know it's Tuesday, so I don't want to talk about it too much because people have already seen it. Michael, I need you to be on my hedge commission. I, I have a ticket right now for Max Homa to nice. win it all. It, it's Saturday now. I, oh, I really... it's a big boy, Mike. It's it's moving Mikey. day. You can't you can't hedge that. No, at this point. Not, you, no, you can't. No, you got to make a it great day. Today. But he I needs, do want. Yeah, it needs a good moving day. That's I, all. I, I, well, I mean, here's the thing that scares me. Scotty shot a seventy two yesterday, his worst round of the year, and he still holds the lead for for top of the leaderboard. That's that's a frightening thing. That he I played agree. his worst round, and he I still no, he played one round worse last tournament. They but said by the this way, was they said seventy two was the worst round it, he shot in two thousand twenty four. It's hard to even it's hard to even say it because in reality it was a great round because the conditions were so so brutal bad. Yeah, that it's yeah. it's scary. I just don't know if there's a world where he doesn't win. With that being said, Mikey, I want you on the hedge commission because it's a it's a big big ticket. Some would say if you wanted it that bad, it, you would actually have come with me to Augusta and cheer him on. And helped him propel him to win, Bob. Instead, Bob turned down the tickets, complimentary tickets, to sit down in his living room and watch it sold. Hey, well, you know hey, what the no thing design. is, is like you got no a bet like that going. You got a bet like that going. You want to be locked in on that guy. How are you gonna do that if you're there? You follow him. Yeah, but that's you say that like that's like an easy thing to do there. Like that can't and, be and Max loves Bob so much he might have given him inside the rope sack. I'll you say this. Know. I'll say this. Now I know there's no comparison between the two events. So before all the golf geeks out there get on my ass about even oh, speaking oh. the same things oh. in the same sentence, don't. But I'm gonna oh. just give you my experience at the only PGA tour event I've ever been at, which is the waste management. 
moving around in a court, it was not easy to move from point A to point B, go from that's hole true. to hole. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not comparing it at all. I'm just saying if that's the way it is at, at, at a lot of these tournaments, especially a major like that, where I'm sure it's packed to the gills, maybe not to that degree because Augusta has some pride in the way they present things. I understand that. I think but it'll like, be less people. That's a major, major hindrance. Like I don't want to have to now it now I'm not saying I would turn down a ticket either. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> saying, I'm not saying that, but <laughs> and I, it's I only can, one day, Mikey. It's literally, I'm flying. But out it's tonight. the no, day, but, but it's but, the but, day. It's, it's I feel the day. if it, it was today, would you have gone Bob? No, no not no. a chance. No. If it was Friday, <laughs> would you have gone? no, he would probably, not have. Probably not. No, he Thursday. Would not have. Thursday. Uh, opening uh, round, you would have went? Opening round or a practice round, then I then I might have gone. <laughs> not even an opening round. A practice round is the only way Bob's going to get out there. likes what he likes. You know, you, what are you going to say? What, no, are you, what are you going to say? You know what? likes and, what he and, likes. And by the it's way, it's the mind. Masters, Michael. It is. People, listen, people dream their whole life of going to the Masters. Sure. I, but you know what, though? I, a, <laughs> I, I've gone, and I went on a Thursday. And um, that was last year, no? Three nah, years, a couple years, years ago, two, ago. maybe three years ago. Um, but if anything, actually, I, I would go if you only needed to follow one guy. Would you do like I want to see every shot? And when you go, as cool as it is, as iconic as it is, you get to follow one crew, one group, really. You barely get to see the shots, you can't even see the hole really when they're putting. I'd rather just it's the greatest couch we could hear. Now, with that being said, a guy like Joey D. First time going, like I get it, but I couldn't fathom going on on a Sunday. I know that sounds terrible. I know I'll get roasted. Do you but... think that Max would feel more like like he'd have a better opportunity of winning, knowing that Bobby Fairways was there supporting Don't him along? Get the way? Him off. Don't <laughs> give up. Don't give up. And I'm not laughing in Bob's face, but are you fucking insane? Are you fucking nuts? Are you I nuts? Mean, I mean, Bob's a lucky charm, man. Bob is a lucky charm. So you That's think Homo would would be would have a different mentality? No, I'm not, saying you, be there? I'm not saying you'd have a different mentality. But, but if he, he saw Bob in the crowd, he would have like a Rudy moment and just like connect with Bob and just fucking <laughs> go out there and, and and what Ace of Part Three, Golden <laughs> Bell, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's really good. That's really, really, that's really, really good. Bone really <laughs> should fire up the clip of Jonathan <laughs> Favreau. <the crowd>. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the wild man now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just right. think Bob being there would be it'd be pretty special. Especially imagine if he won it and you were there, Bob. We'd be going crazy. Here's the thing: is people are going to listen to this on Tuesday, so this is all going to be passing God. Yeah. You gotta you gotta look at what you're looking at the next 24 hours in front of the tube, too, Joe. You have Masters all day today, capped off with UFC 300, which is insane. That's going to go to like one in the morning, one thirty in the morning. Then you start right back up as soon as you wake up tomorrow. With Masters again, that's that's a tough proposition it, to leave a good viewing area. It's it tough. is truly, man. It's the greatest couch week of the year. Because, like, Super Bowl, like, even, even like, let's say, NFC, like, AFC Championship Derby, Day. Derby, Derby Saturday always used to be a good Saturday in sports. Kentucky Derby Saturday was the first Saturday in May. Usually you got baseball, you got Kentucky Derby, you got the first – like nice day, this like kind of the really nice weather starting to kick up. At least that a big prize see. fight. There's always a big prize fight yeah. usually on on Kentucky Derby night. Usually that was a top sports day also. But I agree that this week in particular. Is- oh man, I mean the the whole way through, the whole way through. Um, but yeah, you, you're going to be on the hedge commission, Mikey, of, of when to bail out on on that ticket. Obviously Saturday again. People are listening to this. It's Tuesday. It's 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 Saturday right now. Too early to hedge, but. I would love to hedge. I just don't see what Scotty's just. This guy is what an absolute assassin. You think man. Bryson's a problem, or you think he'll fade? I don't worry about him nearly the way I, I worry. Well, I, good, but... I mean, you don't worry about anybody like you worry about Scotty. Yeah. Right? Now, Joey D, how'd you get the Masters hat without going yet? Um, someone brought it back for me. I think in the past. Is that so? Okay. He Joey thinks D. It, he it might even been, it might even been you, Bob. I'm no, actually, you brought me shirts. I don't know. I think this was from Rob Brandt. I think he sent it. Uh, to Cutsy at Augusta is really going to be, I mean, that's oh, going to be, uh, man. like, I think you I really, I need laugh. to see, do you have the outfit pick? you have your fit picked out already, John? I don't know I what imagine. I'm going to wear. I don't know what I'm going to wear, to be honest. I'll okay. do some damage in that, in that pro shop, though. Yo, that's God, for sure. 
God forbid he like somebody cracks a joke. You're gonna hear him from like hole six to eighteen. You know, <laughs> you're gonna hear him across the way. That that'll really be. Something. You know what? I'm you know what's gonna shushed? be. A, you know what's gonna be an interesting dynamic. Is it just you and FP going? That's yeah. gonna be very interesting because you know the regard in which FP holds Augusta National. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he holds this place. It's like hey, you don't think I'm like, gonna be respectful. Say, Hold on. Don't it's say like, Augusta. It's like it's like the Vatican to to to, yeah, to yeah. FP. So to see Joe there, if Joe gets out of line, don't think for a second that FP's not gonna step in and say, "You don't think I'll be respectful of the course, Joe? This is Augusta." I, I, Joe, I'm not I, saying you wouldn't be respectful, but I just sometimes your emotions get the you're correct. like me in that way. Yeah, your emotions get the best of you. Something comes out, and I just think like FP's just gonna be on such high alert. I mean, this is his Vatican, and he's like a cardinal returning. He came to over to Vatican. Bob's the other day, and we were watching the Masters, and I came over for like an hour, and I started talking. He looked annoyed that I was even talking during the golf broadcast. No talking during the Masters. I mean, but we're all hanging out. We're just shooting the shit. Like it's well, like he, he looked over at me. Like I don't think I don't think I ever laughed as hard as I did the <laughs> night that we were in Arizona, and Joe Joe started talking about Augusta National, and Perez is like, "You don't, we don't, we don't talk about Augusta." We, we, <laughs> he was like, dead, and he was dead serious. Well, and I just, I, I started. I was literally tears were streaming down my face. That's how I laughed because Joe was so flabbergasted that he was just told to shut the fuck up. I mean, it's he was like flabbergasted. <laughs> and I, I was literally tears were streaming down my cheeks, laughing because of how upset he was and how dead serious. Perez was not fucking kidding at all, and I respect that. I he do. was well. The thing that Joe did that really set off Perez and. I think there's a video of it, but it got a little chippy to where I wouldn't even put the video out. I'm not one to create any narratives or, or oh, build anything like that. No, no, so, no. So like, I wouldn't want to put that. Like Dr. fucking Seuss over there. <laughs> well, well <laughs> so I'm we're at the Waste Management Shot at Glory Hole where we take the one shot in front of everybody on the, the stadium or what, whatnot. And the Glory Hole, yeah. That's what it's called. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you went they there. should really they should really rename it something <laughs> yeah. else, man. They really yeah. should. <laughs> but Joe, like it gets kind of quiet. Everybody's like around us, and Joe ran into this guy who's like a member at Augusta. And like apparently you're supposed to keep that very like hush hush. And yeah. Joe from like across the tee box looks at me and he's he's pointing at the guy. He's like, Bob, Bob. I'm like, what Joe? He's like this is the guy I was telling you about. He's a member at Augusta. Oh, no, his step <laughs> <laughs> and his stepdad is. His stepdad is. And so the guy, the guy literally said the guy was embarrassed. He goes, man, he just really just puts it all out there, huh? Yeah, <laughs> sure does, guy. Get used to it. <laughs> yeah, so, so Perez. I actually hit that guy up. We might get clubhouse access. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. There you go. That is as on brand as it gets. That is as on brand. That is good. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. One of the best guys. Has yeah. One of the best. One of the best. <laughs> Bob, yeah. you got another major stain on that shirt. You saw right, that right on the sternum there. Oh, holy shit! What were you chewing? What were you chewing on was charcoal? Tar. Tar. <laughs> <laughs> it was like he was chewing on charcoal and spitting it out. Oh what is that? man, what is that? Seriously, uh, what is it's eighty one. I I stick true uh, to okay. I stick true to what I sell. I'm not. Is that a green? Anything. That's a green juice or something? One yeah, power juices. Yeah, it's sponsored the Brilliant Dumb Show honest. for years, nice. Mikey. Folks, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at AG1. I'm telling you right now, Athletic Greens is the real deal. I take it every single morning. Every single morning, I'm suiting up with the one, the only Athletic Greens. It's just one scoop mixed in water once a day, every day. It makes me feel energized, helps your gut health, and does it all. Do the right thing. Knock down some AG1 today. You can't go wrong. If there's one product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1, and that's why I've partnered with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership of your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash dumb. That's drinkag1.com slash dumb. You cannot go wrong. Start your day right. Take care of your health. Take ownership of your health with the fine folks over at AG1. Athletic Greens to the moon. Sponsor the Brilliant Home Show as long as Windex has been a sponsor of the Brilliant Home Show. <laughs> you think I could have gotten sued for that? No. 
No, they would have sent you a, a, a C and D letter though, for sure. Season, yeah. Season desist me before yeah. they can sue me. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then you would have stopped and it would have been yeah. fine. We're on that the is, move though. We are on the move. We are on the move. And, and by the way, you know, I, I don't know. I don't Exciting know. things down the pipeline. <laughs> we do. There's, there's a lot coming in. And, and that, that's like the, let's just take a moment. If everybody could just take a moment, just to please click that subscribe button. Let's give them five seconds. We'll go silent for, let's go silent for 10 seconds. Let's go silent for 10 seconds. So everybody watching. Right now, um, imagine we see that just thing fucking boom. Um, we're going to take 10 seconds on Mikey's countdown. Uh, 10 seconds if you guys could just please hit that subscribe button. Keep us going to the moon. Mikey, take it away. <laughs> all right, we're okay. back. We're back. Okay. All right, all right. Thank you, folks. Thank you to everybody that clicked that. Um Appreciate yeah, that was that. we were in the living room though, and 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 Joe was <laughs> Joe really was flabbergasted. And every time he said the gossip press is like don't say Augusta. Don't say Augusta. <laughs> you know, he didn't even say. He's like, just don't say that word. Yeah, he's like, don't say it. He's like, just don't say it. It was, but you're right, Mike. And, and by the way, I don't think Joe Joe would never, Joe would never intentionally like. That's right. That's the do key. Something intentionally. He wouldn't right. intentionally do no, it. No, I have he, a lot of revere and respect. With that being said, he's such a loud guy. He's such a, that there's something, like I always say with Joe, like, you could walk into an elevator with Joe and people would naturally change their voice or like on an airplane. I've walked into elevators with Joe and he's had the same conversation with me at the decibel, like we were in my living room, just me and him. <laughs> and it's very, I get very embarrassed. And he Elevators doesn't... are definitely one of those spots where like you walk in and I'll just, I could be in the middle of a conversation. If there's people in that elevator, the conversation will usually stop. I'll just right. stop speaking. I, I agree. I'll just not, stop speaking. Not, and I don't know. I don't know if it's, I don't think, I don't even know if it's more out of, uh, you know, consideration for the people in, in the elevator as it is just not wanting to talk about anything in front of strangers I, in that right. close of yeah. proximity. I just don't want to continue the see, conversation. I, you know, the thing is with me, I am who I am. I'm never going to change. What you see is what you get. Now, sometimes that bangs me. Last week that banged me. Big oh, time. He, Mikey, I don't think you even knew just the beating. What are we talking that, about? For what again? You don't, you don't know him, Mikey, but sketch. Joe went yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. No, we talked about him last dude, week. Yeah. A lot yes, of the YouTube the golf channels like clipped it up and we were we were filming Bob to Sports and I'm on my phone and I'm watching it started to pick up steam and I'm like, oh God. Sketch ends up who I love ended up reaching out and saying it was so sad, dude. It was so, he's a streamer for those who know. And he said, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the text that Oh, yeah. don't do that, Bob. You well, can no, read the text. Joe, of you. No, because Joe, you know what? It gives it gives you the floor to 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 speak on it if you do. Because I think um, and I I actually was going to defend you um, to some degree. I I was going to defend you. You ready for this? He said um, he said tell Joey I'm sick of what's up, brother too, which is what he says. Hopefully we can do something one day. Big fan of y'all. And then when Katsu saw know. that, he he genuinely felt really bad. But the thing that I was going to say. I reached Joe, out to him. He never got back to me. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. He's a busy guy. He's a busy guy. But the I thing reached out. I I, I literally, I, 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 I extended the olive branch. I gave him a follow. I DM'd him. I'm, I said, you know, I didn't mean anything by it. I genuinely wasn't roasting the kid. I was just saying, and it was, unfortunately, maybe he caught friendly fire. My point was that these new age TikTok streaming TikTok. new age things like I, i'm not built for that i i really feel like i should have been bit, like born 15 years earlier he like was. i'm not but but what you? okay earlier than that bob is what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> all my go point ahead, was all my point was is i don't understand the trends and the fads like when bob and perez get together and even jet like it's all these new fads you see yeah, this, you see Joe, that. i'm, I'm you not i'm that. not an internet I'm, guy I'm, like that like, that's, that's the, the beauty that. that's the beauty but that is the beauty of you Joe. and that. unfortunately it spewed off onto this guy who i have nothing against i don't have any beef against him and i'll tell you what mikey i have been getting roasted by his army <laughs> These guys like who's this fifty year old guy? He doesn't know what the fuck he wants. <laughs> this guy is fucking out to lunch. I don't know who Cole Cuts is. I know who Sketches, and I'm getting I'm getting torn apart. And you know, I, I, it's you know just, what they say though, Joe. I'm just press, any press is sometimes. good press. And no, press not good this press. press. Yeah, no, no, it's also good. too. I, in Joe's defense, I do think Joe was. I think it's hysterical that Joe's kind of like. 
out of the loop on that, like we're younger and like me and Jet, like we follow all those trends. We're very looking at that. It's hysterical that Joe doesn't know these things. And I do think he was ranting more on, not on sketch, but he just, he's almost frustrated that he doesn't, these new streamers. Yeah, and they have like these little innuendos and back and forth and they'll do like these dances or the press will do these whoa yeah. things. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know what that is. No, I'm like, with you though. I don't know like, either. I, Joe, I have no idea. And, I, Joe, and then they always no make idea. fun of me because I'll know, catch on like two months later. How, how many hours of sleep do you think that guy averages a night? A guy likes to, who has to stream like that. I would say like maybe like three hours, four hours a night. Cause they're oh. streaming these, these people, they stream until like three. You know who's going to start morning. streaming, Michael? They're nuts. Perez? Who's... You? What? what? And this guy. <laughs> we are, we are going to start streaming. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've, I'm, my eyes have been opened. I'm Why? coming in for Video that games? Twitch, that Twitch game. Oh, yeah. Twitch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, I've why? heard, but you got to set up like a camera. How does that work? I yeah, mean, that, that, yeah, that, that, that we don't know the in and out. By the way, if you're listening on the Brilliantly Dumb Show and you know how to set up a stream, Bobby and I are thinking about doing some streaming in the next little bit. So, we, you know, you I can mean, I have, P- I have I have PS5 as well, so I'd like to get some of that work. I just got oh, a new pair yeah, of, yeah. Uh, of uh, <clears throat> Turtle Beach headphones, so I'd so like to get some of that work also. I was thinking of, like, I really do want to start streaming to agree to where, like, us playing, like, video games, just like FIFA and Madden and, like, I, I realized like when I was playing FIFA with, with Joe, we were playing a co-op thing. He he's, he's absolutely insane when he plays. Like it, it's, it's insane. So I was like, you know, this would be so good. And then you bring on like Mikey, like, and then you play with Mikey. Maybe we'll bring, bring sketch Perez. on for our first stream. I go. almost ask. I want to ask. Sketch maybe to that'll be, it. maybe that'll be the, you know, the peace offering that'll you played that kid. If you played that kid in Madden, you would lose by a hundred probably. Well, I'm not good Madden. If I played him in FIFA, I would wax that ass. You he can't goes. say he's, that, he's though, going, Joe. He's you going. don't know. That kid does yeah, this for a living. He, 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 he plays Madden. Madden. He plays Madden. Oh, he doesn't Joe, play FIFA. Joe, you got to be really man. careful. You gotta be I'm honest. just saying I, I, I trust my FIFA skills to a certain degree. And by the way, I'm as rusty as I've, I've been. I haven't played in a long time. I told Nicole yesterday I'm buying PS5 next week. and I'm. Oh, you don't even have it yet? No, oh, I played a yeah, box. Gotta get it. Gotta I'm gonna get. get I'm gonna get it, and she didn't look too thrilled. But you know what? I have to. I have to get back on that craft. I have to master my craft again. I have to get back. I looked up on YouTube. There's shit that I don't even know. The, the game has changed, and yeah, I'm still stuck. Leaves you behind. It leaves you behind. It does. Yeah. It does. Got to adapt gonna, and evolve, Mikey. We're mm-hmm. gonna go to. We're gonna go to like set up our stream. We're gonna look tomorrow, and Mikey's gonna be like promoting his channel. He's gotta have like a surround like stream sure. set up and like already be at it. Like uh, you know, already share you know. like he's in the Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> there's two. T- there's two types of people in this world bob Here talkers and talkers and doers i'm a I'm doer a, i'm a doer i'm a doer i'm not now why did you take that as a personal attack i'm no, saying I'm two not, types I'm of people saying i'm a doer talkers I'm a doer. and doers that and that's great i'm just saying i'm a doer that's what yeah. i i'm a doer you, you know what do, we should do are you a doer smart. are you a doer joey d at times <laughs> it doesn't sound like it <laughs> <laughs> There's I mean, times where Joe really likes to just sit back and soak it all in. <laughs> you're not enjoying life. I, 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 you're honestly, not, Mike, you're watching the it pass you by, Mikey. The most enjoyable time with Joe, really, all the trips we've been on and shit, and like I look forward to this next weekend the most, is the morning when just me and him are awake. Yeah. And we, we, we look at the bedding slate. We have the coffee. And Joe's like talking to like, a 70 year old retired uncle that has no filter whatsoever just says whatever is on his mind and he's sitting there and he really holds himself in, in that kind of regard and it it's just it's so great because it just reminds me of like some of my like extended family and some of like these like it's just it, the mentality he has for this point in his life that's what i think frustrates and baffles a lot of people that he could be like this in his 30s. Because what is this going to look like when he's 60? It's going to be I'll be a grumpy old man, yeah. I don't know, though. I mean, I, well, well you're certainly, uh, the filter is going to be even, God. the filter, you're going to be completely. I, I will say this. I feel like if you get older, people like kind of give you a little bit more leeway. Sure. Oh, they do. They do. Like, they do. That's they why it's a grumpy old men thing. And I think I'll get, I, stuff he's, I'll never get away with now, I could probably get away with in 30 years. I agree. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a call from him about this, but but my dad, like the shit that my dad now, like <laughs> he's he he doesn't have much of a filter anymore. Like his filter is kind of gone. You should call and ask him. 
Oh, he would throw. He would throw a fit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my, I, I, well, one thing I do know on this show, Mike likes to be able to defend himself. Yeah, he does. He does. But he, I, I'm telling you, it. it um, yeah, he was upset. He said. Uh, he said another. He texted me. He's like another pretzel job. Um, talking about his knee pads for for softball, <laughs> like how he wears all the knee pads, and, and he texted me the next morning at like six in the morning. He's like another pretzel job that I haven't been able to defend myself. Or, so that term it. has been coined by Mikey V and has been adopted by many. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I mean yeah. that's what it is. I mean that's that's there's no other way to describe it. Joey Dick. I have a really good idea that just came to my mind. What we should do for Alabama, we should bring the PS5 and the controllers and just go wow. nuts. Yeah, that'd be fun. It's just quite you don't a know mission. what the cable. You don't know what the cable situation is going to be like in that. What do you mean the yeah. cable? You don't need cable. No, I'm saying you don't know. Like, are you going to be able to even watch what you want to watch? You might want to bring. Them. Well, that's what I'm saying. It might yeah. be a life. That's a, that's a good idea. By the way, cable, the idea. cable and and Airbnbs now are long gone. It's all yeah. just like, and I hate it because I I still love cable. Yeah, that Roku yeah. sucks. It does. Yeah, it does. It does. It's trash, man. It's trash. <laughs> Listen, streaming in general, it's just such a dicey proposition because if you're going to have all streaming set up in your house, your Wi-Fi better be like NASA Wi-Fi. You better have Wi-Fi that smacks. If you're a sports person. Now, if people don't like sports, I feel like they just don't give a shit. So it's like, you know, I mean, but for you to just come out there out of the gates, no cable, all streaming, you got to be prepared for that. You got to YouTube have all TV the is the new wave, man. YouTube, YouTube TV, TV is, is really good. It's oh really my good. God. It's really unbelievable. Really I really can't good. get enough it's of it. Right. I mean, I'll it never, I'll never cut the cord. I'll never cut the cord. But I can't I will cut say the cord. That, I will say YouTube TV from what I've seen is good. Oh, it, it's, it's good. A, and you can take it with you on the road. You cut the cord. You take it with you on the road. That's the beauty. My guy, I'm with you. I can't cut the cord. Never. Can't do it. It no. can't be delayed. Just can't. Until they tell me that, you know, as a God-given right, it's no longer available, then then that'll be the day I cut the cord, but not until I'm with then. you. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode of the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com. Whether you are in a funk in your life, you need somebody to talk to, somebody to help you get back on track, BetterHelp.com is the place to go. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge let therapy be your map with better help visit betterhelp.com slash bds today to get 10 percent off your first month that's betterhelp.com slash bds for 10 percent off your first month go over to betterhelp.com get everything back on track and do it the right way talk to somebody today betterhelp.com all right boys let's head on over into our buy or sell segment what did you say of the week that you liked what did you see that you did not like very interesting snake draft coming up here um, later in the show. So stay tuned for that. Um, buy or sell. I, I'd love to start off. I feel like I don't start off often. So I'll, I'll yeah, go for one. it, Bob. Um, you know, Joe mentioned this and I I, I I sat on it and I really do agree. I'm I'm selling the beach. I, I, I oh, think. Oh, yeah. You, you kind of took mine. Yeah, I think. I think you guys are beach. both going to sell the beach. No, I'm, I'm selling sand. It's just, well, 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 but, but, oh. Damn, right, I'm selling beach all the large portion because you can't, of the sand. You can't, Bob. I'm going to say this: you cannot sell the beach and then Joe sells sand. That's, Why? That's, just, yeah. I'll, I'll pivot. I'll pivot. I'll okay, pivot. thank you. Thank you. I'm just um, telling you, I was good at sell sand. Yeah. So here's the thing with sand. First off, when you go to the beach, like the worst thinks, particle on earth. It's it's. <laughs> everybody thinks like when you go to the beach, oh, let's go get sandwiches and then go over to the beach, like. It, that's the worst sandwich. Like that's terrible in the sense of any little bit. There's no way to avoid sand getting in the deli paper or any degree. And when sand gets on you, it, it's there to stay for a week. And you can go and you can wash it off at you know whatever thing you got to walk wash it off at those little stations. You never get it all off. You you just no you could, no. You could shower. You could be washed down by a fire hose. The little particles of sand throughout the week are going to show up for until it actually goes away. Um, <laughs> it's such a process getting over there. Um, it really it's not is. easy to walk on sand. The sand gets really hot. Got to bring the feet. chairs Gotta on the bring beach. The chair. the it, it, it's just it's it, a process. It's, so, it's a process. Yeah. And then the water. I mean, usually I don't mind getting in the water. The the water belongs to the fish, and that's why I don't really fuck with the ocean. 
Like, like even um, <laughs> I'm serious, funny. man. I, Mikey's a big on. beach guy, Bob. That's why he doesn't like it. Well, no, but I mean, like, I do have that one week where we do the beach every day, and I, I mean, we have it down to a science, though. All those, all those concerns are valid concerns, They're right? Valid, but there's Appreciate ways that. to there's ways to avoid a lot of the problems there. But you even got, like, you got to be prepared. Like, and I could see you being very well prepared. But even you, yeah. like, bringing that cart or that insane bears flag that you bring that all, like, but that's telescopic pole it all folds down <laughs> to like this big telescopic you know so it's like you, the pole itself is only this long but then you twist it and it goes fucking all the way up in the air I, but, but, okay so let me ask you mikey like when you have and if you have like a picture of your setup like to me and i'm being completely honest like sure, i love yeah, you yeah, no, no, to no, me no, no. When I see those people on the beach, I'm like, that is the most obnoxious. Like, why? Like, why do you have so? I I gotta well, ask you. Like, I'm gonna. I'll explain it to you. Okay. you know, <laughs> since since you have, since you really have no fucking clue about what your guys got to fly. I'm not. Them. I I, I want to learn. Here's, I really here's the know. deal. So that particular setup, I would agree with you, would be obnoxious in a case in which it was just me and a buddy going to the beach, or just me and my wife going to the beach. However, you're talking about a trip with about 20 other people first of all that all have toddlers or newborn babies most of all there's like legitimately 10 children on this trip maybe 12 i don't even know what the count is up to now it's ridiculous these kids need to first of all they all nap on the beach so they got to be under shade hence the tents you have to have tents to put okay. the kids under they got to no have shade no problem with that. you got to have the obnoxious coolers and stuff because like you said you don't want to get sand in your shit you need the lock tight big coolers clear That's with two. that too yep okay now number three is going to be your concern was the uh the flags the flags when you have little kids it's like a north star they go, that but that's exactly right that's exactly right when the you kids look like are looking United for you Nations. yeah it's very, Mikey, Mikey, right. it's very not... easy to lose because there's a bunch of other people on the beach set up with the same fucking tents and all the same shit you want to have something where you say there's the flags i know exactly where i'm going for the kids yeah okay for the kids. i mean look you, you you put you put together a good argument you usually right. do but to me it's it's all the flag. It's like Yankee Stadium, you know. Oh yeah, I do. I got... do an obnoxious. Amount oh, the of United flags. I'll Nations. Say I'll say Correct. that. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's, about that's it. where my issue has the amount of. There'll be a have. We'll we'll have one of those nice new have a day flags up there. Though, That'd be great. That would look good. Yeah, yeah. that would look good. Well, of but, course that. Yeah. Of course that one would look good, good Joe. Everything else is obnoxious, but that one, that would, that, that would. Look well, good. the Bears one is a little ridiculous. <laughs> Why? That's my team. Why? We, Why we, do you need to fly a twenty foot? Chicago Bears flag because I can. That is another thing. I know it's a telescopic pole, but it, pole. It, really it, nice, it, really nice it, pole, Mikey. It's way up there. Like, oh yeah, to the heavens. Yeah, to the heavens. Oh yeah. This guy is. looks like he just fucking conquered the beach. Yeah, well, we do. He stormed we do. it, and then he fucking. It's like it's Iwo Jima. He has to have yep. four guys right. planted into the. Yeah. That's, a That's a great idea. That's a great idea for a picture this year. We're, we'll make sure we take it. <laughs> No, and that seen... cart, that cart that we rent, that obnoxious gigantic oh, cart. Oh my god, it's that has a built, let me tell you how, let me tell you how good that cart is. That cart has flagpole holders welded into the framing of the cart. So you just put your telescopic pole in there, tighten the knob, you're good to go. You don't have to dig, you don't have to bury, you don't have to worry about it blowing away. It's unbelievable. Oh. This is a professional setup that took years of of work to perfect oh, this kind of setup, bro. You know, and that's what it is. I How think, Mikey. I think I'm starting beach? to. I think I'm starting to prove my point. I think my point Bob is, is one of those well. guys. Bob, you're one of those guys who just you you think you could just walk out onto the beach and everything's going to be prepared and ready and you're just going to have a good time. Life, you got to prepare for things. You got to you got to be ready for all types of situations. You got to fine tune whatever it is that you're doing, and that that's something you know that's a week long thing. So it's got to be fine tuned and perfected. I, Otherwise, I, it'll be a total disaster. Sure, I just think there's a way to do it without making it look like Fort Knox on no, you know, I don't think I, so. You know I what I mean? That looks that. like Game of Thrones just <laughs> fucking merged with Post <laughs> Yeah. 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 I mean uh, listen, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people <laughs> like that setup. Yeah. You know? Uh, How many days are you on the beach when you go? Seven. Yeah, oh so that's, that's a lot. Like... Well, well 
Well, six really, because the oh. the day we come in, you don't get to check in until like three. Bob, you imagine so toddlers? No. Sand but, but, but I get it. Let no, me tell you but, 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 it, but it is fun, I'm not... man. It is fun. So, it, is, let, it really let, is. Let me ask you, Mikey. Set, by the way, seven is a lot. I could see you enjoying it, and me too. Mm-hmm. Going out to dinner with everybody, being the at the house with everybody, the uh best. barbecuing with everybody. That I could see being fun. When you're actually at that beach, do mm-hmm. you actually enjoy being at that beach? Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you why. There's so many of us, and all of us are pretty much it's the parents of the wives, and then all the guys pretty much married into all these families with these girls that have been friends, my wife and all these the her cousins, their friends. So it's all these guys that are all around my age. All like similar, you know, type of guy. You met a bunch of them at the uh, at the last breezy event that we had in New York. A bunch of them, I think. I introduced you. a couple guys. They were old happy hour guys. All that. Sure. We have all the kids, and it's kind of like we make such a big enclosure that the kids are kind of contained. So it's not like they're running all over the place. You know, we got to take them into the ocean and stuff like that. That becomes, you know, obviously something that's a little pain in the ass at time to time. But overall. It's great. It's just the setup every morning is like, but we're committed. You know, there's yeah. five or six of us that go out every morning, set it up and come back. And then we get Fair enough. So. Okay. You got to be committed. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, let's yeah. go. Let's go to you, Mikey. Buy or sell. Oh, I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell this week and I'm going to sell. It's Saturday. So we're, we're the third day into the matches. I'm selling. Uh, I'm selling uh, Zach Johnson. I'm selling Zach oh, Johnson. Oh, man. That's a good sell. Uh, terrible. This guy, like. Oh, oh, okay. For him to, what he did at the waste management was one thing, but then he clearly told the fan yesterday when he, I think it was a triple bogey, Joe, was it a triple bogey? Yeah, yeah. Triple bogey to hold. Obviously the fans sarcastically started clapping for him like, hey, yeah, good. And he just goes, fuck off. And it's, it's clearly obvious because he doesn't say it when he hits the putt. But he tried to say that it was not directed at the fans. It was just frustration oh, on the uh, is, is that what yeah, he said? In his presser, such, yeah, I yeah, didn't in his hear presser. that. Yeah, so he, he said, you know, it's just, you know, I triple bogeyed. So I was upset. But that's not the case because he sinks the putt. He doesn't say anything. Then you hear the crowd chirp. Then he gives the fuck off. It's clear. As day. Like, if you're going to do it, I almost don't have an issue with him saying it to the fans. I have an issue with him saying that it, it wasn't at the fans, which is clearly bullshit. He's been taking Like, just stand keys. on it. If you're going to do it, just stand on it. But some of these guys, bro, these old names that are like these big favorites, Spieth and him and 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 DJ, about, like these guys how are about just Justin Thomas. How about I mean, all these guys yeah. missed the cut, man. Yeah, Justin Thomas. Even our guy team. Wyndham. But you know, yesterday was an anomaly with the wins. But Wyndham, but Wyndham it was his first time at Augusta, no playing there. But I'm saying that's that the, a tough the, spot. The conditions always were hor- the conditions yesterday no, they were. were horrific. They were. They were. But I'm saying, especially you combine that with the fact that it was his first time playing that course in a tournament. So that's you know, that's there hasn't been a guy who won it as um his first time since what, 78 or 79, something like that. When you yeah. was the last time that happened. So that's a tough spot to be in. When you watch back to like the Zach Johnson thing, I, have you seen the, the full swing the second season? Oh. Yes. The yes. second su- season is incredible. To me, it's even the rider way cup. better. Well, the rider oh, cup. it's awesome. Yeah. But when you see, and I, they're his friends, so be, but it's such a conflict of interest that he's like staying with Spieth and no, Fowler. Thomas. No, Justin Thomas. Well, no, but he stays with Spieth. He stays with Thompson. Like, all those guys staying together, and they're friends, so it is what it is. But, like, it really isn't Keegan's our guy, so maybe we're a little biased. But it's so unfair to a guy like Keegan who deserved to be in, and they're so close, and you see them staying at the same house together, which, again, I'm not telling them to not be friends, but maybe he shouldn't be the captain if they're this did a horrible job, and you know what? Yeah. Did a horrible job, and it showed. They got absolutely obliterated. So, you know, the proof is in the pudding. But, yeah, and I, I would feel somewhat bad for him with the shit that he's taken for all the – but then you see the full swing. And then, like Mikey said, what, what took place yesterday, and then even at the waste management, he yeah, sounded he was off as a horrible. Yeah. yeah. So it's really hard to feel bad for the guy. Yeah, I mean, and again, I, I again, not so much an issue with him telling people – fuck you or fuck off. I, I, but the fact that he's going to double down in the press conference and say that it wasn't directed at the crowd when 
I mean, come on, man. Like, it, you can't do that. You got to know that if they pick that up on the hot mic, like, it's going to be clear and obvious. What, a lot of like, swearing every, yesterday in the Everything's Masters. important. Yeah, well, Rom, Rom curses. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's tremendous. You know what, then, Joe? I, I, he's tremendous. Maybe you can let it rip a little bit come Sunday, Joe. Yeah, but they're the players. Imagine though. you hear the hot mic and it's just me on the in the gallery. Fuck! <laughs> or that. One, like, of my, one of my matchups isn't winning. <laughs> I heard somebody after uh, somebody after a tee shot screamed "Have a day," which is pretty cool. Oh, there cool. you go. That's uh, nice. So that was pretty cool. Uh, what did you Baba think Bowie of for the fiftieth thousand? Oh people. my god! So man. old. That's or, that should have been my cell. That's so old. Oh, Mikey, oh. Mikey what are your thoughts on the uh, Jason Day outfits? I didn't. Uh, he wore like the crazy sweater yesterday. The the vest. The vest. And then the right. day before the pants. Yeah, I, I you know whose outfit was concerning. But it was I, I, Sergio Garcia's. Oh, the canary with yellow. the yellow with the yellow, with the yellow pants. I mean, the that was really, yellow, really yeah. wild, man. But uh, no, these guys. I don't have. I think the outfits are part of the fun. I think. It's, I think it's. I think great. it's fun to look at. To be honest, I think it's. I think it's funny. So I. Yeah. I never take issue with what these guys are wearing. I expect them to wear wonky shit. I know this is like a really bougie move, but fuck it. It does look so good. Like when you have those golf pants and you get them tailored like these guys do, yeah. oh, there's some, real, cut. some great looking pants. Like Homa's fit was fucking heat. Yeah, so he had like the baby blue. Baby and the, blue, yeah. Periwinkle. Oh, yeah, yeah. man, it looked <laughs> fun. Bob likes those. Bob likes those Italian cut, the, the hemmed pants. Those yeah, are like yeah. special. He'll, he'll be wearing them. Uh, don't you worry, Joe. He'll be having those very soon. Very soon coming to a course near you. He'll have those. <laughs> let's, let's head on over to Joey D. So I was going to initially sell sand. Um, terrible particle. Um, terrible, but terrible. you know what? It, I, given Bob selling the beach, I'm going to pivot. This is tough for me because, and I want to make this very well known because I'm not selling the entire place because I happen to like it a lot, but they got to be better. And it's the Dairy Queen in terms of when you order online, they give you no options, Michael. They give sure. you no options. If you go into the store, you can mix and match flavors of blizzards. You could add fudge in the center. There is an unprecedented amount of different possibilities that you can tailor your own order to. They don't give you fucking diddly squat on any of these ordering <laughs> services. And by the way, I went on DoorDash. I thought maybe it was just DoorDash. Went to Postmates. It's the exact same thing. I couldn't even order a little vanilla cup for my pup the other day. Like they wouldn't even give a vanilla ice cream, a single vanilla ice cream. Like, like, like that's as basic as it gets. A single scoop of vanilla ice cream I couldn't get. I couldn't mix and match flavors. I couldn't do chocolate blizzards. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. So you know what? They didn't get my business. I I pivoted. Mighty it's they got to be better. And you know what? I hit Bob up. Bob tried to do a fucking order for which the, with the blizzard for the chocolate ice cream. And he was throwing fits. Well, Bob, uh, am I not wrong? Well, well, Joe, am Joe, I not right, Bob? <laughs> Joe, actually, it was a tough look for me. Joe called me to complain about the Dairy Queen blizzards. And, and he was I, ordering one himself. I had one on the way. And I was. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Yeah, really. <laughs> tell me, tell, tell him what you told me, Bob. He called me to complain. I was like, Joe, I actually got one on the way. And they won't give me the option to do the chocolate blizzard. And I tried putting in the instructions in caps. Please no vanilla. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say why. I'm gonna say why the uh, my opinion on why the Dairy Queen internet user face is not as friendly as you gentlemen and accommodating as you user gentlemen face. would like it to be. Okay. Uh, before you say that, I just want to say one last thing. Sure. If, <laughs> if you've never, well, it's my cell. So if you've it, never, it absolutely is. Let's make that very you clear. Have never, <laughs> if you have never experienced Dairy Queen before in your life. Yeah. And your first time was through the interface that they provide you on their online self delivery systems, which seems to be coherent across uh, cohesive across the board. It's 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 the same across okay. the board. Okay. All it's not just DoorDash, it's Postmates, Uber Eats, everything. Mm. That is a significantly different experience than you would have by walking into the Dairy Queen store you're and realizing- to, You're beginning to make my point, continue. The endless amount of possibilities that they provide okay. you with. Okay. Why can't you do that? I'll tell you why. Okay, tell me. I'll tell you why. Dairy, the other store you can. Dairy Queen, okay? 
Dairy Queen to me. Now, this may just be me. People in the comments, you could agree with it, you could disagree with it. Dairy Queen is a place where traditionally, I would think, number one, I don't know how popular a ready-made ice cream delivery service will ever be, given the circumstances that surround transporting ice cream from point A to point B in a car. I think it's difficult to begin with, and your expectations have to be basement low. I think they have to be low to begin with. That's a different story. The though. process is so arduous. Secondly, why are they not investing more into what their menu selection and user interface would it's look a great like menu. for the delivery? I'm going to tell you why. Because I think that an ice cream place like a Dairy Queen is meant to be a place where it's warm out. It's the summer. It's spring. Whatever. The temperature calls for it. You go there. You walk. You wait in the line. That's part of the delight of, of going to an outdoor or a traditional walk-in ice cream place where you're supposed to wait in line in the summer. It's kind of it's kind of goes hand in hand. You wait in line, you're looking at the board, all the flavor options, every kind of thing you could do to your Sunday, every kind of thing you could do to, and you're taking the time while you're in line to look through all this. I then like you got all your privacy my own home. Too. And then you're getting it fresh delivered at the door. You know what I, yeah, fresh I, delivered on site. Mikey, you know what I mean? You're getting it right then and there. I, I definitely see what you're saying for sure. I I, I okay. totally get that. I, I know defend- you get your cravings. I, I got to back up Joe though, but because at the same Everyone time, else is adapting. That's Everyone ridiculous. Else is well, yeah, it, I mean, it it was Dairy Queen's choice to go on and and do the Postmates yeah. service. And no, a hundred percent. They're not stupid. They want to make their money too. But they're right. telling you basically, it's like, like a pizza place saying, "We're when we deliver, we're only going to deliver pepperoni, cheese, and that's it." If you I want you, Supreme but, or if you want pizza, Hawaii, you're shit but, out of luck. But listen, Joe, pizza is built upon delivery. Pizza Empire is built upon True. home delivery. Dairy Queen will never be built upon delivery. They're built upon that might say the, the warm on their weather. Walls. Well, they're built upon the warm weather, people walking up to the storefronts, taking the time to wait in line. That's what they're built on. But I, I understand the gripe, but I'm telling you that they're of the attitude probably where they're not going to, they probably will never make the kind of money off delivery that they would. But they just. By the way, I would, be, I would be ordering on a regular. You know what, basis. Joe? We we pay a premium for those blizzards yeah. too. They they well, you check it up. They deliver. bang you with you the extra. The and Mikey, well, by that's... the way, I'm not I'm not asking for some double fudge extra. I asked. I wanted a scoop of I vanilla you. ice cream. As you know what the basic as that, I couldn't that? get it. They're trying to sell me. You know what bar. the solution is to that? <laughs> you know what the solution is? The next time you or Nicole are at the grocery store, you just pick up a nice pint of plain vanilla for the dog. Then you keep it in the freezer. You got nah, it. Nah, it's not the same though. That's like um... it's not. The, it's not the soft serve that comes right out of the fucking tube. The soft serve is not meant for transport though. Yeah. Oh, that's well, that's, that's once that's I ask. pay for that, then then I'm then I'm I am understandably so that's like putting you know myself like... on the line that it might not be that's how like... it would be in your yeah, expectations that's... have to be so low for that. They just have to be. You can't it's have for the dog. I don't have a high expectation. That, that's okay. almost like uh that, I always because that's like saying like order a hamburger and if they don't offer lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle, have your own and then place on the hamburger. Once you do that, it's oh, not the same. That's not good. All I'm saying, he thinks he thinks so. there's no place that's delivering a burger that's not going to have lettuce and cheese. Well, well, that. Okay, maybe that wasn't maybe that wasn't the best example. But like, what you're going to have you then your own ice cream? Like, to, you know, part and, of the disappointment is I love Dairy Queen. Well, I really I think love that's Dairy the, Queen. I think that's the. But it's not thing. always. It's not. You always know what it is? You love Dairy there. Queen, but you don't want to go there. You don't want to go. You just want it's it. It's a convenience. I love right, Dairy Queen right. too. That's the bottom line here. You and everybody now is adapting to the technological wave that we've. Experienced. You know what? I bet you that you could drive to that Dairy Queen, pick up the most perfect ice cream that you want done exactly the way you want it done, and bring it home before you could even complete that whole process online. Because there's nobody going to the store. Because everybody wants the convenience. I'm telling well, you. Well, then they should adapt. If everybody's trying to order online, you think that there's a market for them to to, to up their their ante a little bit. My mm. dad gets so mad at me for <laughs> for the Postmates stuff for not going and picking stuff up. Like when he hears some of the shit that he gets, so he he can't he can't wrap his head around it. The thing that I do feel guilty about is. And I was always so against it. And I, I, if I'm being honest, I do do it from time to time. I used to really, I do like grocery shopping. When you do the Instacart and you're picking your groceries, that's a shitty feeling to wear. When I do that, I feel really bad when I order like a blizzard. 
I feel even worse when you, when somebody goes to do your grocery shopping for you, I feel like a piece yeah. of shit. But like your dad would not get mad at like a traditional delivery service. Like if you said that I'm ordering a pizza tonight, he wouldn't get mad that that's getting delivered. To no, me. no. Right. There, but, there like, are... but like ice cream, he's, he's like, what are you doing? Yeah. The dry ice thing, I think, set him off a little. Sure. And, and you know what? <laughs> uh, right, rightfully so. Rightfully so. Yeah. Mm. I, I will say, you know, the last thing with Dairy Queen, I, I'm showing this. I love Dairy Queen. It, it, it sounds. I love the Queen, too. Their soft-serve vanilla is, is through the roof. Yeah, and I couldn't get it. I was thinking about getting a Buster bar and peeling off the chocolate to get to it the just, I Look, I don't think that Joe's necessarily <laughs> wrong. The problem is it just sounds so bad. Like you got people really like scratching and clawing for like, it sounds and terrible. Joe's mad that is, Joe's mad is thoroughbred <laughs> dog couldn't get a vanilla <laughs> soft serve cup in time. <laughs> Oh man, you want to talk first world problems, Bobby? You're talking first world. Yeah, problems. I guess the pop likes ice cream. It's his yeah. favorite thing. Okay. Like I, I get, I get it. I just think the way it sounds. But I will say, you know, we talked about listening to the followers, and I do trust the followers. The followers really, really, and I, I still am so upset about this that they really steered me wrong with Dairy Queen in regards to when we had the fast food draft. Um, they, I said, you know, Dairy Queen's not fast food. People were so upset. Bob, how can you say Dairy Queen's not fast food? They have the best chicken tenders, whatnot. And I really took their word oh, for it. you went, yeah, and you said it was horrible. Well, I got it delivered. I, I got it delivered. <laughs> 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 this guy, Bob, if you wanted an actual sponsorship, you should be the face of DoorDash or Postmates. I would or, love it. The amount, I mean, you could vouch that you have oh probably God. ordered more food in your lifetime than probably like 94% of people. Well, yeah. they're, they're, they're. I would going... love to see the annual statement. The oh, annual no, no. statement from oh, Post. Oh, oh yes, oh. I do. I would love to see that. That would be an elite piece of content. It would be. Oh, an no. Annual statement. Oh no. From oh. By the way, the, the DoorDash guy was at the Breezy Lounge. There you go. The DoorDash guy was at the Breezy Lounge. There you go. There you um, go. So. Did you talk to him? I was talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Secret but access code. Bob could probably do a sponsorship with them and not even take a dollar, and he would save so much money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it yeah. would be it would be worth it just for the free food. Dude, yeah. I don't, I don't want to look at it. It's, it's bad, man. It's, it's bad. Um, also, speaking of bad, I, I asked Jet yesterday. I was like, "What is your what's your screen time?" He's like, "Ah, oh, well, it's not going to be as bad as you." Like, I'm on the computer editing. Like, I was like. He's like, there's no way. It's I was like, well, what is it? He goes, 13 and a half hours. I said, 13 and a half. What I'm is yours a... right now, Bob? What is yours right now? It's not good. And Mikey, I'd like to see what yours is at, too. I don't even yeah. know how to look. No, at I thought I thought you, you enabled it. I would I'd be curious you to see. You go on settings screen. and you go screen time. Settings. So and then you got to go to oh, the... oh. It, uh, um, um what is it? App app and website activity? I'm down. No, 18. no, just under settings, Mikey, and you just yeah. go under screen time. I'm yeah, down. I know, but this is what it says on my. It doesn't say anything. Oh, you got to activate that, Mike. I'd oh, be okay, curious okay. to see yours. I, I'm eight and a half, eight and eight hours, eighteen minutes down, eighteen percent from last week. So that's not too bad. No, that's nothing. Eight hours, right? Yeah, like compared yeah. to what you used to be at. So there, yeah, no, like? I'm eighteen yeah. percent down. So whatever the math yeah. is, what are you, yeah. Joey D? I'm trying. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, yesterday was eight hours. Okay. What's the oh. week though? Swipe over to week. Yeah. But the week is, is, is the week is, it, it, it does, it does, I don't think it's right. The week is only seeing an hour and 34 minutes. Daily average? That, yeah, that can't easy. be right. That can't, be, can't right. be right. No. no. Okay. All right. Apple um, needs maybe because be I don't know. That's, that's okay. Oh, I mean, let's, let's keep it on moving to, to our snake draft. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, man. <laughs> The guy who's <laughs> got to get himself on the board yeah. one more. Joey D. I didn't deserve – by the way, here's this here's, – I'm going to start. I'm going to get ahead of this before it, 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 it's some massive pretzel job. I have not been great on the on the top fives. Last week's category was not a good category for 15 picks. I'm going to say it right now. 15 different bagels. You might have Look five. at the smirk on his face. Would you look he at knows, the smirk? He knows. He did it. He, he, he. Yeah, but Mikey – This whole I show, I this whole have... show is – this is all – prefabricated thoughts from Bob's mind on how he can what? leverage these top fives in his advantage. It really what? is. It really that is. is <laughs> fucking dis That's I'm, disgusting. I'm I'm By kidding. the way, I, I the bagel, you admit, the bagel, the bagel one, not a good bagel category. one. Here's the thing is Bob picked the bagel one 
to be fair, knowing where his position in the draft was going to be, he knew he was going to pick one. Oh, oh, no. my you God. knew you my were God. picking one, Bob. My but I, I, here's my first, first, first off, I'm first not, I'm not, I'm not arguing whether I won or lost. I don't have more than three different variations of bagels ever. That's a you ever. Problem. That's a you. No, but I'm just. <laughs> Michael, you're telling me you have 15 different variations of bagels? Like, today we're doing cereal. We've right. all had 15 different types of cereal. Sure, cereal's like, a great one, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that's what I'm cats saying. It's a good, cats out of the bag. It's cereal. It's a good category. Bagels is not category. a good category because there's only three to five I, real bagels. That I think that's what makes American it a little has. interesting, though, because you have to go outside of the comfort zone. Well, you know zone. what, Mikey? Then we and I got crushed. I got movies. crushed. How about movies? We'll go yeah, outside. Movies, Bob don't, movies, Bob. No, don't this, by the way, this, Bob this, won this, the sports this, movies. One, unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, so. I mean, I think this is guys. This is this is very. Of, a lot of the a lot of the boxes. This is very. Bro, this is wheelhouse. This is very unfair. Sports movies is what Bob does. That bagel. Let's look at what we've done. Bagels. Sports movies. What was the one we did before that? NFL. NBA. You got crushed in NFL. NBA. Okay. What was the ones that I you think, guys? Come on. This is so re- you guys I'm saying have the last every two. chance as if you guys don't know. <laughs> and by the way, here's another thing. You guys can throw some stuff into the top fives. I've always oh, said I've suggested plenty of top fives. Yeah. What? Bob, Bob's I- last three. All right. You ready for this? Go ahead. Some of the best things he's known for. Bagels, bagels, chips, chips, yeah. and sports yeah. movies. Right. I mean, I mean, if this, if this kid doesn't win those categories, it's like it's like saying fucking. I, I mean, come on, Since man. When am, when am I known for chips, Bob? You eat chips all the you're time. You're a big chip guy. No, no, no you're a chip, chip guy. guy. Joe, I would say guy. you're definitely a bigger chip guy than me. I'd say chips are one of the better things I'm at, but like <laughs> bagels. <laughs> okay, bagels and sports movies. Look, you I gotta. Mean, here's the come bottom on, line. That's a layup. Here's, that's like yeah, saying yeah, we're doing. Like wait, 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 wait. a three point competition. I want to hear the And Steph line. Curry's gonna be competing. This is. <laughs> yeah, what's the bottom line? <laughs> what's the, the bottom. bottom line? The bottom line is you got to You got to capitalize on what you know. Okay. Sure. You guys have every right to put in your top fives as well, which you that's definitely right. didn't do. Um, that's right. That's right. And and you know, I mean, these top. I like it's bagels. Not like, Full transparency. I like sure, the category. It's, it's I a did. Group and, and uh, it's not like I'm so much more advanced than you guys. Made. Mikey said, Mikey is in the bagel epicenter. That's correct. Of, uh, well, Mikey, Mikey put his hand up and said he had a terrible time. And, yeah, I did. And, he I did. Did. Uh, and I, I appreciate you know what the pro- I had two. I had two two of my horses go right in front of my picks, which completely threw me for a while. You were that, the second pick. No, no, I, two horses go in front of I you. was going to go poppy seed on the way back, thought I could get it. You snatched it. And then I thought I was going to get blueberry in the third, and Bob but, snatched it with the double. That's why the first and the third pick are so crucial. good, because you get those double picks. It, it's crushing. It's soul crushing. It Mikey, is what it is. I moved on. Before, something you really did. First off, the hand up accountability I thought was hysterical on Twitter. Uh-huh. Um, secondly, real quickly, can you, because the... <laughs> The, the, the post, it actually, it's a really good menu. You put out what your master's menu would be. Can you just read through real quick? What no, your you didn't like that menu? menu? <laughs> you got the Miyazaki, you spelt it wrong. What did oh. I spell wrong? Yogi? Oh. Did I spell Yogi wrong? No, yeah. no Miyazaki, Miyazaki, the Japanese wagyu. I took that to right offline, then some joker online doesn't know how to spell it. Wait, you, you know who Mia... put it out? Penix to Metcalf. <laughs> that's how that's how Penix to Metcalf spells. Oh my God. We're still going back to that well, the Penix to Metcalf well. Of course, of course. Appetizers, we had uh, Philadelphia cheesesteak egg rolls, sh- yeah. shaved prime ribeye steak, chopped long hot peppers, provolone cheese with au jus. That sounds pretty good, Jeff. That's pretty good, yeah. Seafood tower, lobster tail, stone crab. See, I, uh, I would make the claim if you have seafood tower, you don't even need those other two. Like the seafood tower is good enough. Well, I did meats, uh, I did meats, cheeses, and it's- then a hot. The, the, and the Philly, the Philly I thought it was a nice variety. Rolls. I thought it was great. I really did. I thought it was no, great it's good. Place. I'm just saying that the tower, I think, is good enough. The that- tower, you got you got your lobster tail, stone crab claw, Alaskan king crab leg, shrimp cocktail, the big ones, Dungeness crab cocktail, uh, served with hot mustard, seafood sauce, and horseradish cocktail sauce. Then That's the drunken, drunken veal pork and beef meatballs, um, over vodka sauce with regatta cheese, and then the cold empty pasta, which is going to be all your dried meats and your cheeses, obviously. You know, there's charcuterie board there. Okay. And then uh, main choice, yeah, that was the, the A5. How do you pronounce it, Joe? 
Miyazaki. I don't know the key Gyu. I don't. I don't I know. Heard. This is. The, I don't know. Bone in ribeye served with cream spinach, scalloped potatoes, and Alaskan king crab. That's black, pretty good. Black truffle gnocchi. Yeah. And then Chilean sea bass option there for our lighter fare lovers. Uh, lemon butter sauce, garlic mashed potatoes, and asparagus. And then the dessert: bananas foster with cinnamon graham cracker gelato. That that pairs very nicely. I yeah, thought. I thought. I thought that it was menu's a great nice menu. menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really do. Somebody should make that menu for us. I feel like someone should. It's great. Someone should. It's really, really. <laughs> someone good. out there could, and someone should. That's a lot of work. That's a big menu. Okay, no, that's a big menu. That's something you don't want to play credit card roulette with that menu. You're gonna get crushed. <laughs> remember, remember, we almost did credit card roulette at Carbone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh bro. That yeah. see, maybe, I like maybe, that. maybe we do credit card roulette at in Paris. Alabama. Yeah, I, at Paris, I, yeah. It's scarier, the four man. I mean, I like doing credit card roulette. Like we had six guys at that Carbone dinner. The yeah. odds are very much in your favor to where I like taking that game. Yeah, a four them. man dinner. You got a twenty five. Four man oh, scary. Bang. We had an Instagram live a long time ago. We had a big bill and we did credit card roulette and it comes out as Joe. And that's the perfect guy for it to come out to. <laughs> oh, did he, bl he blamed the waiter. It, it was, I mean, I, it was, I gave yeah. that, that nice metal card. He felt it. He's like, this guy's got more money to spend. And he, he you, you got to put a shitty card in the credit yeah, card the roulette. Key. Yeah. Like you a card put, that's yeah. peeling, yes, breaking. Yes, it looks yes. like you got no I money. Agree. That's, that's 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 it's like it's like play. it's like it's like a, it's like it's just like that generic red color that every bank gives out on a, on a debit card is like red to the just point where that. what I would do, Mikey, is I would and I'm telling you guys what to do, but I would put a shitty card out if I got picked. Then I would switch the card up for a different card to actually put the bill on. If he got picked, yeah. If I got picked, yep, yep. All right, boys, are you ready to get down to business? Who's here? going first, Bob? Are you taking oh, the one? Oh, so as Bob. as we said, we are doing um. Yeah, we're we're doing top five cereals. This one's fun. I I do want to put something out there. Okay, I I feel because this would change a lot. Like for example, if I do Captain Crunch, I think that's got to take out all Captain Crunch because like if I put like Captain Crunch and somebody can do Captain Crunch with berries and then C Captain Crunch peanut butter, like I I would do four different things. Okay, that's fine. of Captain Crunch. So I the, through the committee, are we okay with once that's fine. once that's off the board? Once it's off the board, it's off the board. No variations. Okay. With that being said, I'm I'm gonna do Captain. Are you taking Crunch. the number one? I, pick? I'm gonna do the number one pick. Uh, Joey, Joe, I assume you're taking three. No, you're, yeah, you're yeah, Joe, Joey, yeah, Joey, Joey's gonna take three. three. Bob, you took Captain Crunch at one. Yeah, I'm gonna do Captain. I tell Crunch you what, that's a good start for me, man. That's a good start. I thought you were going this one. I'm taking cinnamon toast crunch at two. That's a steal at the two pick. Mm. Give me cinnamon toast don't, crunch. Don't, don't don't try and sell. Don't try no, and. No, that's a big don't, one. That's don't a big try. One. Don't, that's a big one. That's a big one, and you know it. And you, know, I, it, you fucked up, and you realize. He, you know Joe, you, you fucked up. Joe, you see what he's trying to do. He's no, trying I'm to being get dead in. serious. Joe, Joe, did he not drop the ball there? Cinnamon no, Toast Crunch is the number did. one top dog cereal. Joe, Everyone knows I, that. Joe, if you had the I number one Joe, pick. give your opinion, Joe. If you had the number what one What I would have picked, number yeah. one? Yeah. You want to see what was first on my list? And I'm, I'm going to delete the rest. You just say it. Well, I'll show you so that you don't think I'm fabulous. Well, then, obviously. First if on my list, Captain Crunch. Okay. There we go. I there we go. I disagree, so, but okay. You can see exactly what he was trying to. I could have picked. I don't think so. But okay. I could have okay. picked okay. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And no, he would have been, been like, no, oh, Bob, I got exactly what no, I Now, that being said, I I have consensus. cinnamon. That's I do have Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the top three. So, Mikey, I do think oh, it's a good pick. I don't mind his pick, but I'm not going to, you know, he didn't win the list. Bob, you know, that, that makes me laugh. Last week when you said Everything Bagel at number one overall, what was the first thing I said? I said, that's the right play. Everything bagel. Oh, well, I'm telling you, this, yeah, but this was so not the right play. This was not. Oh, so, that. Okay. Well, you, Joe's got back to, to back. Joe's got back to back. You're ahead. in trouble. You're in an early hole. No, come hole. on. Get you're you in an shut early up. hole. You're in an come early on, hole. Come on, man. Okay, go ahead, Joe. You see what he's doing, Early Joe? hole for Bob. Well, you know, he's he's worried now because I think you've overpassed him on top fives, Bob. Sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. All right, number one, I'm taking Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs, I'm taking, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna follow it up with. Um, it's tough, man. I'm gonna go with Frosted Flakes on the way back. Frosted Flakes is a, is a, a love, respectable play. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Bob is laughing. Why is Bob laughing? I no, I know. love his. I love his one. I don't like that too. I don't. Uh, you. I gotta got get variety in there. I gotta get variety <laughs> no, in there. No, no Mikey would have taken Frosted Flakes on the way back. <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't. <laughs> not, maybe me. not this pick, but the next pick. Mikey. I had Frosted Flakes on the board for sure. It's on my big board, but it ain't that high. 
Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take. Uh, give me, put me down for Lucky Charms. Give me Lucky Charms. Great pick. Great pick. Bob, you got two, two. Really nice pick, Mikey. Thank you. Give me, give me Fruit Loops. Great pick. Yeah, give me Fruit Loops. This is a fun one, man. This is a fun one. This is intense. Give me Fruit Loops and then give me Cookie Crisp. Okay. Fruit Loops and Cookie Crisp. I, I, I'm not just saying this. I, I, I'm off to a unbelievable start. Put me down for Rice Krispie Treat Cereal. Rice Krispie Treat Cereal. Good play. Good play. So now I get two picks. Yes, you do. I'm going to go with. Uh, fuck, man. <laughs> it's tough here, man. I'm not a huge cereal guy. All right. So I'm going to go. This is going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> but this is going to be an hour. This is going to be a dog fight. I'm going to go with Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs. And then I'm going to go on the way back. Mm -hmm. On the way back, I'm going to go with Golden Grams. Great cereal. One of my favorite cereals of all time. I got I got lambasted when we did this originally when I picked Golden Grams. But I think Golden Grams is solid. Yeah, it's a great cereal. It's not the cereal I would have picked there, but it's a great cereal. Get and put me down for a, uh, you know what? I got to take this because this cereal is not exotic, but this is this is an absolute, everyone has this in their house. Honey Nut Cheerios. Give me Honey Nut Cheerios in the fourth round. I think that's a steal. Honey Nut Cheerios. Great cereal, though. Great yeah, cereal. I don't love it. One of the I best cereals of all time. I'll Honey tell you what. I'll tell you what, Joey D. <laughs> I don't like that pick. It's probably the, it's uh, probably the best selling cereal ever made, Honey But it's not that It's not, it's that, not that good. good. Oh, no, I know. That's why it's the, the best song. Yeah, everyone must hate it. <laughs> everyone must fucking hate it. It's in everyone's house, but everyone must hate it. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> You know, you guys are you guys are going, Bob. You're closing well, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. All right. your last I, I know, I know, yes. I know. I'm ready. A lot I'm of ready. pressure here. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me Apple Jacks. Give me Apple, Apple Jacks. Jacks is a is good pick. Apple Dude, I, good I'm pick. I'm putting together just a power power list, and you know what? Everybody knows it. Everybody. The, uh, here's two things I'm no longer going to do in these top fives. I'm not going <laughs> to, go. go. I'm no longer going to declare that my list is the best because that's sure. not, <laughs> that's not going to get me anywhere. I've realized I thought last week after the top three, I was in the, the lead and I got lambasted. And the next thing I'm not going to do, I'm going to try to not shit on other people's picks. Cause it's oh, just, it's but, just, Joe, but Joe, that's you, Joe. not Good necessary. You, it's not necessary. The Good dog wants to go sunbathing. Yeah, the, I think I think I think I think the pup just heard your list, Joe. <laughs> I don't think I want to get the fuck out. Of I don't. It. I don't think the list is bad. By no, 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 no. No, I agree. I'm, I'm busting balls. I'm busting balls. This guy wins a couple wheelhouse fucking. Well, I'm, 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 look, I'm swinging a hot stick. I'm swinging a hot stick. I got a little swagger to me right now. Give me very operatic, before. would you? Give me, give me fruity pebbles at five. Yeah, that's a great pick. That's that's a steal in front of me. That was my pick. Mm -hmm. That was my pick. I am prepared though to back it up, and I'll back it up with something that's that's uh, another great classic cereal: corn pops. Give me corn. Oh pops. no! Pops, dog. Got to have my pops. Give me corn pops. <laughs> Five. That just fucked me, man. I thought no one would take that. Mm. Those are two picks I had. I'm fucked now. I'm not winning this week. I don't even know what to take now. Oh Jesus! Yeah, man. that list. That list. That Joey D list. I What's mean, wrong it's all, with my no, list? It's in good shape. That's it's in good shape. Mikey, don't make fun of other people's lists. I'm not. No, but I would like to actually ask you what is what what which item on my list is that bad? Nothing. Even like the frosted flakes. I told you, bad. Golden Grams is one of my favorite picks. I, I, Joe, I, I did like the Golden Grams pick. I, I, you didn't I'm fucked now. I don't have another. I don't have another one. All, all my picks got taken. Fucking A. I didn't think corn. This is actually one of those weeks where I wish we had an honorable mention because there's just so many fucking good yeah, this is a good this is a good top five. Plus I'm yeah. an expert in cereal too. So I, I yes, of course. Fucking cereal, man. Uh, I don't even know what to take now. This is this is tough. Dude. Oh. This is gonna be a good one. Whatever comes yeah. out is gonna be so good. God, Joe. <laughs> this is gonna bang me.
this single handedly is going to lose me the entire. Like I, I'll probably come last place now. You know what? I don't know any other cereals. I'll go with Raisin Bran on my last cereal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have everything else got taken. Listen, raisin bran is good. It is good. I like raisin bran. I do. I think it's tasty. I'm being serious. I like raisin bran. You he's, know, he's making me laugh. You know, I, I do like. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I know no, it. I know no, it. I know no, it. I know no, it. No, 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 no. No, no, I I forgot the cereal I want to use. I need unless, unless the committee wants to allow an honorable I want, mention this I want, week, I, want, I don't think no, we no, can. I, have want, it. I don't I, think the committee. No, no, I forgot I, the cereal. I, I, I want, I want, I want a different cereal. I you can't do that. You what have I ever asked for? Like I, I, I forgot the cereal that I want. If it's, if it's a quick, like if it's a quick take back. You guys were lamb baking. me didn't have a chance. No, I, I, I want to do tricks. Tricks as my last. Would have been a great. Great play. Would have been a great play. Gonna, I think I think this guy goes and takes fucking cheese it for fucking chips. And now he doesn't want to give me a switch for a last pick. Well, it's the last pick. Well, Everything well, else has gone taken. I mean, you handed that you handed the card to the commissioner. The commissioner read the pick. You can't just say, "Oh, yeah, I'm sorry." Yeah, yeah. You know, we we're not picking you anymore. We didn't. We didn't announce it though. Also, too, out of respect to comments, I I want to see the comments when that comes in. So I'm on the committee. <laughs> all all committee board have to be no. So I I am vetoing his right to have another cereal. Yeah. Mikey, what would you like? I'm to gonna do? I'm gonna abstain <laughs> from voting. So that's gonna make a one one and. On a, on a on a on a on a draw, you got to just. Oh, keep no, it. Mike, you got to do a vote. You got to do a vote. I mean, I think Raisin Bran was the pick. So you know, Joe's I feel gonna... bad for Joe though. I feel like he's genuinely hurt. He's about to go on a plane to Augusta, Georgia. Man. That's also don't true. Be... Fuck you, Raisin <laughs> yeah, Bran. No, don't feel bad. Respectfully, he's... respectfully. respectfully. <laughs> you know he's going to be on that flight to Augusta. He's going to be on that flight to Augusta, being like. Fucking raisin brand, the fucking committee. Like, <laughs> all right, we're gonna, gonna run. Hurt. You want to run down? Kids. <laughs> run down? They are. They well, they were until raisin <laughs> brand came around. Um, but anyway, I'll run down the list real fast. Bob, Captain Crunch, Fruit Loops, Cookie Crisp, Apple Jacks, Fruity Pebbles. It's a great list. It's a great, great list. list. It's a great list. Uh, for me, cinnamon, cinnamon toast, crunch, lucky charms, rice krispies treats, honey nut Cheerios, corn pops. I think that, that list hangs with your list. I do. Joey D, we got Reese's. We got your Reese's Puffs. Great pick. Got some Frosted Flakes in there. Delicious milk Frosted Flakes makes. Cocoa Puffs. Got to have your Puffs. Uh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Golden Grams. I said that's a phenomenal pick. One good, of my good pick. It's a good pick. And then we rounded, rounded it out with Raisin Bran. Rounded it out with Raisin Bran. <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. I like Raisin Bran. Yeah, Me yeah, too. Me too. And the last pick. The last pick of the draft. Hey, I'll tell you what. That's fellas. Mr. Irrelevant. Mr. Irrelevant. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's hey. a Brock. Raisin, Brock it's Purdy. a raisin irrelevant. Right, it's Brock Purdy. There you go. Yeah, All he right, turned well, out pretty good. Well, sure fellas, did. Played in the Super um, Bowl. If you're in Augusta, Georgia, um, I, I, I recommend you either go see or try and hear Joey D, um, who will they'll, be roaming the ropes. They'll, they'll never get that message. That's right. Nope, they won't. <laughs> yeah, they won't. <laughs> um, Master will be <laughs> over for two days already. Yeah, yeah. Well, they when gotta... you when you were there, we hope you ran into Joe. Is yeah, what say. yeah. And you, and you know what, Joey Day, I hope you have a good time out there. I really, Me really too. do. I really do. I really hope you enjoy yourself. Um, really, really enjoyed this program. A nice long episode. Um, yeah. By the way, as well. Sometimes what I do is I want to hit an even number on time. So if, if you hear me at the end where I just kind of like drag on and rant a little bit, it's to hit the even number that we just hit. That's been another edition um, of the Burnley Dump Show. Like, comment, subscribe, Mikey V, Joey D. We love you, boys.